principle of equal access. And we touched on a few things and it was very important for us to understand as ambassadors, we, we got illumination on what we should be doing as ambassadors because these systems that are in the earth, they are not a reflection of the father. So we're uprooting the things and tracking it down to the source to identify if it's from the father or it's from the old serpent. And so that's why it's important. And so we gave a few tools. And like I said, we'll review those uh, really briefly just to get your mind back into the state of uh, the teaching that we, we taught in midweek study. So with that being said, we have to understand that there are systems in this world that is detrimental to black families in particular. But however, as an ambassador, whether you blue, black, green, purple, yellow, if you see another fellow ambassador in a position that is unlike the father or unlike what the father has designed, then you as an ambassador should speak up and be able to identify if it's good or not and then be able to assist. So we, we're not sticking our heads in the, in the ground. We're not sticking our heads in the sand and just acting like as if nothing ever happened, that love covers everything, that we just should love everybody. Because if that's the case, then you are ignorant of the, the purpose and will of the father because the father hates certain things. He loves certain things and he hurts certain things. And as our ambassador, as ambassadors, our role is to make sure that we speak the will of the father, that we speak the constitution of our government. And we also have to understand that we are in a dual citizenship. And this is something that we review, uh, reviewed uh, on last week. But we have a dual citizenship. So we are uh, representatives of another government, but we're living in, in, in this government, but we're citizenship of the kingdom of heaven. So we have a dual uh, citizenship. So with that being said, let's go right into our review. And we're talking about the, we'll go to our questions first. So this is what we're gonna review real quickly. We, these are the three questions that we touched on, that we answered, and I'm gonna try to go into a little bit more depth and so that you get the key concept, that you get the original, from the original source and you can dissect it yourself. So those are the major questions that we answered on this previous week was, what is a kingdom concept of commonwealth? And we identified that it's another economic system that the father established, and we understand that it's one in the earth that is opposed to it. So we're gonna go into that a little bit deeper. And then the second question was, what systems are in place that have gone against the concept and who is behind it? So as black Americans, native black Americans, we were brought to this country against our will. And we were subjugated to a, a system that was not for us, it abused us, and it stripped us from uh, benefiting from the kingdom because you have to understand that black Americans that were brought over here, when they were not able to read, they weren't allowed to uh, study. And then other things that you have to think about is that the same ones that brought them here against their will taught them and taught them about religion and they, they, they indoctrinated them. And so we have to understand that there were systems in place. And as ambassadors, we got to identify those systems. How do we do that? Well, we got to go back to history. And unfortunately, the history that we've been taught as from the same source that was corrupting the black, native black Americans that came into this country. And so their third question is, what role do ambassadors play in uprooting those systems? So we have a mandate. And as we go into the original, we're gonna go into the Hebrew lexicon that's gonna dissect the word and so we can get it from the pure source. And I want you to remember this scripture again, because this is what I want us to understand as we go and track things back down to the source. So in Corinthians bet or 2 Corinthians 10 and 5, we see that we are destroying sophisticated arguments and every exalted and proud thing that sets itself up against the true knowledge of L. And we are taking every thought and purpose captive to the obedience of Christ, meaning we're reconciling it back to the Father to make sure that it was from him. If it's not, then we gotta deal with it. We gotta uproot it. There's no gray area. We can't, we can't serve both sides. 
we have to pick one. And you, you have the consequence of each choice that you pick. So with that being said, let's go right into it. So we reviewed this, but we're going to go back into it because I want to go a little bit more in depth. And that is, what is the kingdom concept of common wealth? So Elohim's covenant that he established with us that is beneficial to all ambassadors. It wasn't one particular color or, or certain type of characteristics that he was looking out there that he would say, I'm going to give you this covenant. No, he gave that covenant to every single ambassador that, is, uh, that has citizenship of the kingdom of heaven. That's what we have to understand. And so we're going to go in deep, deeply and rooted into some of those systems. And we're just going to pull out the simplest form where what was the agenda? What was the purpose? What was it set to do? So we can identify it just that quick. So we went into Baron Sheet 1, 26 and 28. And what I did was instead of having to go there, we're going to already have it here up for you. And this is the scripture that we're going to dissect really quickly. And what I want to want you to understand as ambassadors is a lot of people think when we talk about Hebrew and we go back to the sources that it is not relevant. A lot of people think it's not relevant. However, you by you saying that statement is showing that you don't actually know the or understand the purpose, the intent and the purpose of the Hebrew language. We have to understand it comes from the source. So as ambassadors, we should be more, uh, we should be more enthusiastic about going to the source. So anyway, we're gonna get out there. We're gonna go in this. That's another session. <laughs> so we're gonna go in this. So this is uh, uh, Bereshit 28. And so it says, and Elohim blessed them. And Elohim said to them, be fruitful, multiply and fill the earth and subdue it. Okay, so what I want to dissect really quickly is on the verse 28, we see this Hebrew olive that olive and that's a tav. Okay. It's as you can see, it's not translated. Well, it wasn't yet revealed because Yeshua told us in Hazan, and he also told us in uh in, in throughout the scripture that he was the olive the tav, and what he was denoting was. I am the word, because you have to understand this. When Shua came down, he said, I am the word made flesh. I'm the living word that, that was made flesh in the earth and took on an earth suit. So we have to understand that it's the purpose behind this olive bed. So again, it, that was, it wasn't translated, but we know that it means the word. So what does the word encompass? Because the father is the word. His word is law. So his word is his system, is his, 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 uh, his system, his way of thinking, his culture, everything that encompasses the father, his reputation is the word, because he said in his scripture that his word would not return to him void. It's going to accomplish what it's sent to do because it comes from a pure source. So when we go down here to fill the earth, what are we filling the earth with? Because we dissected those words. Well, we're filling the earth with the culture, with the purpose, with the will, with the agenda of the Father, or Yeshua who came down by way of covenant, he, he, he died for us so that we can have everlasting life and be reconnected back to the kingdom of heaven. He told them to repent, change the way that you think so that you can be reconciled, so you can re-enter the kingdom of heaven because it's a whole nother government. A whole nother system. You don't have to endure the system of this world because there's a totally different system that's been designed just for you. And so we went back to the source. We went back to the beginning to make sure that we're getting the pure source and the mandate of what the Father has given us. And as ambassadors, we can't sway back and forth on that. So with that being said, we're going to look at a few elements of a commonwealth. And I think this is very important for ambassadors to understand what a kingdom is. Uh, and also people that's uprooting religion, because one thing when you uproot religion, and we're going to get into that, there was a purpose behind their religion. And you're going to be shocked to understand where it came from, why, and what was it intended to do. 
and we're going to trace it right back to the black families. I mean, we can't negate it. You can't skip around it. It was treatment done that hasn't been dealt with. So elements of commonwealth. So we have to understand that the king has an agenda. He has a will, he has a purpose, a plan, and he holds the resources, he holds the laws, he holds the systems of that kingdom. And then the kingdom disperses his agenda, his will, his purpose, his plan to the governor. And then we look at governor. The governor holds the authority and the constitution of the government. So he's reporting directly from the headquarters of the king. And his agenda is the same agenda that, that the king established. The same plan that he has is the same and in alignment with the same plan that the king has. And his purpose and his will is subject to the king, okay? And so he teaches the citizens how to connect those resources. So the governor is holding the resources that have been dispersed down to him, and then he's teaching the, well, we'll get to the citizens, how to properly utilize those benefits. They know their rights. They know the culture. They know what they can and cannot do. They know the laws. So this is the role of that governor. And also the governor upholds the law and the constitution of the government, okay? And then we're going to dissect what those roles are. Also, the citizens, make sure I check my time, Oop. the citizens. Now, the citizens have equal access to all the resources because they have identified that they want to be a citizen of this particular country or this government. And all resources they need to fulfill the agenda, the purpose, the will, because they have to go back to the source, is uh, of the government. Okay, so we know who the king is in the in uh, who that we report to. That's the father and his word is law systems, everything that encompasses in his word. And the governor is the Holy Spirit. So in order for us to get citizenship into the kingdom, we have to go back to the governor who's already been taught the word, the, the laws, the purpose, the will. And then by way of initiation colonization, then we become a citizen of that country. And so when we talk about commonwealth, we're talking about the father's agenda, his purpose, his plan, his will, his laws, his systems, they become a part of us. And now we are in the responsibility of the king. But in order to get to the king, we're communicating through the governor because the governor is our first line of well, we talked about this uh, in the military. So you have a chain of command. So that's our first uh, chain of command is Holy Spirit, which resides in us. So as ambassadors, we have to understand that we have everything that we need and resources are supposed to be pulled to us by way of our citizenship, by our rights. We have benefits and, and our rights. So let's go a little bit deeper into that. So what we want to do is we want to go back to scripture and then we want to always go back to the original and dissect it. And I'm just building this foundation because we're gonna to touch on these systems. And by way of us touching on those systems, we're gonna understand that it's totally hindering and it is, is not of the father because these systems are hindering the mandates and it's kind of trying to protrude or block the system.